Do you know what Googie Architecture is? Howdy y'all, welcome to Adventures Kendall. Today's adventure will take us to the sub-architectural genre known as Googie Architecture. A fun mix of the mid-century art world and the wild and dazzle of the sci-fi world. It's going to be a great time to look at examples of such buildings, including this church, and more specifically, Pan's Diner in Los Angeles. Come on, let's get going. Started in roughly 1945 and ended in the early 1970s, Googie Architecture is a style of architecture influenced by the, the future. future, the space age, and the atomic age. Car culture, jets, and streamlining are all included in this styling. It's very noticeable when you see the tail fins of 1950s cars meant to emphasize the speed they were producing as if they were as fast as jet airplanes. Googie architecture was popular in hotels, gas stations, and coffee houses. Googie architecture was also present in the cartoon series The Jetsons and in Disneyland's original Tomorrowland. The hallmarks of Googie architecture are the following. Very pointed roofs, large open windows, abstract shapes, and very bright colors. Even today, you can spot these little details on Googie buildings that still stand today, some of which are quite beautiful to look at in awe. Some well-known examples of Googie architecture include the Space Needle in Seattle, Washington, the TWA Flight Center at New York City's JFK International Airport, and the oldest operating McDonald's in Downey, California. There are even some Googie architecture here in the city of Fresno. There are nukes and crannies throughout the city, especially along Blackstone Avenue. Some of these buildings are not in the best shape, but there is one complex in particular I want to pay attention to. The William Saroyan Theater here in downtown Fresno. Named after Armenian-American playwright and author, William Saroyan, this complex is an excellent example of googie architecture within the city of Fresno, California. Now that we've seen the beautiful googie architecture here in Fresno, let's head down to Southern California to check out some googie architecture, like this Chase Bank here at Manhattan Beach, California. And to our next location, Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, California. This place is a great example of a diner being built in the Googie architectural style. Check out my previous video about Bob's Big Boy to learn more about this place. Now that we have seen Bob's Big Boy, let's head down to our last location, Pans. And here we are, Pans. One of many surviving mid-century diners within the Los Angeles area. It is our last stop of our tour of Kooky Architecture, and I can't wait to go inside, so let's go check it out. Pants is a coffee shop and restaurant in the Wedchester neighborhood of Los Angeles. It was opened by husband and wife, George and Reno Palos in 1958. Their son, Jim, now owns and operates the restaurant. The restaurant is known for its neon sign, Kooky Architecture, and its 1950s decor. Like many coffee shops, Pan serves breakfast all day. It also serves blue plate specials that are complete meals that vary daily. Fun fact, the term blue plate special came from the Great Depression. The term refers to a low priced daily diner special, a main course with all the fixings for two bits. Check this place out, isn't it great? The menu is standard coffee shop and breakfast fare, which is my kind of place. I had the 1958 breakfast, a very nice and delicious plate of pancakes and bacon. My breakfast was absolutely delicious, but there are other options here, such as French toast and some fried chicken. Because of its vintage decor and location within Los Angeles, Pants has been featured in several movies such as The Book Club and Little Miss Sunshine. Boy, I had a fun time telling the story of Googie architecture and exploring the remaining examples of buildings built with this style. And I had a fun time at Pan's eating a great breakfast. But now, let's head back to the studio and get ready for our next adventure, an exploration of the California water system. 
Let's go. If you have a location for us to go on, comment or email down below. We would love to see your suggestions and also subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We would love to see your faces. Now that's all the time we have here on Adventures of Kendall. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world.